Hey Flosstube, welcome back to Basic Stitches. I'm Jordan and I'm on Instagram at LittleStitchGirl94. And I'm Jamie and I'm on Instagram as JamieXStitch. We're going to do a quick little Q&A kind of video because we got so many questions in our video last week. So we're just going to go through and answer them all here. So it started with Jill Farrell asking how long we've been cross stitching. I started my first cross stitch I think when I was not like I'd say about 10 or something um, and then I've done it sporadically like I did a couple when I was a kid then I did more into my teenage years a couple and then I did a few here and there throughout um, my married life and on but it's been the last three years that I've really cross stitched uh, the most consistently. And I started, I think, when I was about eight, and then just did a few random ones here and there, and then really picked it up again about two or three years ago, um, because she picked it up again. Nisha Tomlinson asked how we got started stitching. My mom. My mom um, is Grandma X Stitch. Her name's Dan, and she taught me. She enjoyed it, and... She did, she, she did several different kinds of uh, crafts when I was a child. She always had some kind of a project, and but the cross stitch one is, because she had the Better Homes and Gardens magazine, and there was one in there that was a fairly easy one that she, that's what I learned off of. And that I started because my mom and grandma did it, and so I just joined in. Um, Missy Lukey, <laughs> if I can say the name, sorry. Missy Lucas asked how much time we average a day stitching. Um, minimum of, well, some, some days there's zero, to be honest. But then if I do pick it up, minimum probably is about half hour. Um, on a weekend day, though, if we don't have anything going on, especially like on a Sunday, if it's football season and things, I can do three or four hours. I mean, I'll stitch for a while in the morning, and then I'll get up and do a few things around the house and then we'll have lunch and different things and I'll stitch for a little while longer and you know so and I have days where I stitch pretty much all day and like stop to make lunch or to change a diaper or like random stuff but I pretty much stitch all day and then there's days where I do none lately I've been doing the bare minimum of the 30 minutes for the I love the stitch, I love the stitch because I worked so hard at the beginning of the month to get all my February stuff done that I kind of got burnt out. Um, but typically on a typical like work day, I'd say a half hour to an hour. Yeah. Jessica Brown asked, what is the most frustrating thing that you have ever stitched? Mine would be my Boyd's Bear True Love. It's Beatrice and Gr Grinville, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, it's more color-wise confetti-ish, you know, different, multiple different colors. And there's blending filaments and different things they called for. I've ended up pulling that out and I've bought the Krennic number four blade braid to do instead. Um, because that was miserable to try to stitch with that other blending filament. Um, but I love it too. <laughs> but it's been... I, I like I'll go really good on it and then I'll get frustrated by something and then I stop and then I'll go really good and then I've got frustrated and stopped. I just haven't started again. You need to go upstairs. Let's go. Her coat's in the car. It's snowy. But yeah, it's snowy. Sorry. Um for me it's probably my Disney Princess giant one from it was from an Etsy shop. Um, I started in the middle like I do on most projects and it's full coverage. But where I started it's so full of confetti and I kind of go back and forth working on it because I'll like get a lot done and then there's like a color that's super confetti and I just need a break from it. Sue Overfell asked, Jamie how many kids do you have? Three. And two grandkids and a dog. And asked me how many years I've been married. Um, five years in September, so it'll be six years this September. So 
Now I guess it's like almost exactly five and a half years. <laughs> um, right in the middle. Let's see. Charla Stogdill asked, how many hours a week do each of you on average stitch per week? Kind of the half hour to hour. A day, yeah. yeah. And then weekends or some, sometimes more. Soccer Mom 2001, what projects are you bringing to the retreat? I don't know, but that's exciting to think about. I know. It'll be the first of first couple days of Mania. If I don't know if you're doing Mania, no. No, um, I failed last year, and May is a crazy month for me. So I don't know if I'm gonna do Mania or not. If I do, it probably won't be the full 31 days. It'll maybe be like maybe four new starts, one a week or something, you know, and then do whips the rest of the days. Uh, that's what I've kind of thought of. So anyway, I'm gonna have to at least bring a new start. But I'm thinking at least like patriotic houses. Um, for the waxing moon designs. What else was I thinking? I don't know. That that's probably at least one of the sets of the waxing moon designs, and I'm not sure which other ones. Maybe a prairie schooler. Something like that. And I was kind of thinking about it, and I have no idea. That's still like three months away, <laughs> two months away, two months yeah, away. Yeah, getting closer. It's time to start planning. Um, I'm thinking though. But I've been like seeing people planning for mania and like Priscilla and Chelsea. Well, Priscilla has been showing her, her mania plans and stuff. And I'm like, how are you planning for that already? That's still forever away. And I guess it's not it's no. coming up fast, but it's I have no much. idea. I'm sure I'll have stuff like there's stuff that I'm working on that I think, oh, that would be a great thing to take. But I might have it finished by then. I know I'll probably take small projects. That's I'm not going to take anything on like my big scroll frames. I was thinking that I'll be smaller, smaller um, projects to work yeah. on as well. Um, but I am super excited to stitch on the plane. I don't know why, but that makes me like really excited <laughs> to have something to do on a plane. Um, <laughs> okay. Don Brinker asked where you bought your roll of frames. Um, I happened to find them on eBay. I searched just the other day to see if there was any other sizes on there and I haven't found any. I had previously searched for some on eBay and they never come up. It just happened to be that one time I searched and they popped up and I was able to win the bids. So, yeah. Jill Lice, Lice um, asked what our unicorn patterns are. Uh, well, I found my unicorn pattern. So I, it's right here. Should I show it? I had searched for this for oh ever. It's Santa's night prayer schooler. Is that an original print too? It, it is. It is. And that well, because they haven't reprinted it, and that's oh, why it yeah. was so hard to get. Um, yeah, if they'd reprinted it, it'd been easier to get. But I had been searching for this one. I don't know if you can see it. Sorry, it's in a. It came in a. Uh, Cheap shit here. But so I wanted that so much and I just got it. So that, I honestly at this moment in time don't have, well, okay, I almost lied. I was going to say, I was going to say I don't have what I'm searching for, but I do the Prairie Schooler, the months. I don't have March, which is called Daffodils, and I don't have April. Other than that, I have the other 10 months. Um, so I guess those would be my new unicorn patterns because I'm trying to find them. I really hope that Hoffman distribu Distributing um, releases them. They've released the other months. I want them to re-release them because I don't care if I have an original print or a reprint. You just I just want the pattern. pattern. Yeah, th that doesn't matter to me. I mean, it's kind of cool to have the original, but really, I just want the pattern. For me, I think it's Lady of the Flag, Mirabilia. Because I, most Mirabilias, I appreciate how gorgeous they are and how intricate mm -hmm. they are, but most of them don't really fit my style. Right. But oh, they're I, beautiful to look at. I yeah. mean, the craftsmen. I got one for my friend for her birthday because she was getting back into cross stitch and um, they really fit her style. She does a lot of like fairy type stuff. And so I got her the pattern for her birthday 
or I can't remember, one of the fairies. But the the only one that I can really think that would fit in my home is the Lady of the Flag. And I love the Statue of Liberty coloring and doing it on the no. the fabric that has the is it the preamble or the constitution or yeah. the we the people bendy michelle stitchy bendy michelle she's doing two so, uh sue and mo and that what she calls them i don't remember anyway i think they're gorgeous and that's probably and it doesn't help that when they did the re-release i messaged um donette and i paid for and had a copy reserved with all the beads and then she didn't end up getting any from the re-release and sure. so i got refunded which she was very sad and gracious toward um everyone who had ordered because she didn't yeah, get she, any well she had put in to get them and they only did so many and only she, so many stores got them and yeah. her store just she didn't refunded it. us and then she also gave us a five dollar credit toward Next anything purchase. in the store because of she just felt, felt bad. really bad for getting everyone's hopes up which was very kind of her but mm -hmm. i just since then especially i really want it but i've looked like on ebay and i found a chart for like 200 dollars, and there's no way i would ever pay that much for a cross stitch pattern well i had seen this on ebay for 50 to 60 dollars at times i paid 13. just i mean i won't pay outrageous prices but i will anyway so yeah, yeah. Oh, it's locked. Are... oh you gotta hold it to my face okay <laughs> um lisa lane asked how we film the multi-screen she wants to start a, a floss tube with her friend but they live far apart so we do it over skype mm -hmm. and if you do skype on a mobile device there's a so there'll be like a little like this is you and then the rest of it is you like, have to like drag it over yeah and you it drag big. it over and it makes it big and then there's like a button where you can screen record and then if you turn off the screen recording before you end the call it'll save it and then mm -hmm. i just upload it to my computer and put in like our info that i do on the video and upload it to youtube so we tried. But you have to do this, stop the screen record before you end the call. If you end the call first, it's, it's gone. gone. We've had a few videos get deleted. Yeah. Um, but we tried Zoom and that was the one, we have like one video way far back that it has like crazy black borders mm -hmm. and that was from using Zoom and yeah, that didn't work as great. But we really like Skype because it's just us on it yeah um amber the introverted stitcher asked how do you stitch with two snaps in hand hoops do you use stands what are your favorites for my well so i use a combination of uh scroll frames and cue snaps and i if it's small that i can hold easily i just do it hold the cue snap but if it's the larger scroll frames or even some of the larger uh, Q snaps, I have a Lowry stand. I hook them in. And both of them work well in the Lowry stand. And I do Q snaps. We both started with hoops. Mm -hmm. But I, I don't love hoops. I don't know why. It, the tension t can, tends to loosen. And but they there leave was... the marks in the, like the hoop the yeah, yeah. The ridges well there is some uh q-snap or sorry some hoops that i've heard people talk about they're older vintage ones and they have like a belt That's on the inside what, um, and, Donna Ray uses. yeah and it holds the tensions better and it and with having that felt it also doesn't leave the hoop ring as bad so but i use i use the q-snaps but not the actual brand q-snaps the yeah they're hobby are lobby, just hobby lobby ones because then I can just run to the store and grab one if I need an extra size because I have too many. Mm -hmm. I never have enough. <laughs> too many whips, I guess. Yeah. Um, and when you need, like, a new size, because they can all hook together, you can change. So like, the 8x11 yeah. versus 8x8. Eight eight and there are times that I've needed, like, eight an 8x11, but I have my 11s on one project and my 8s on another, and so I don't want to, like, take off of two projects, so I go get new ones <laughs> um 
And then I have like a super cheap stand that I got from, or I, you got me from Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something. It's the something E E F Munns Edmonds or something. Yeah, it's just a super cheap one. And we, then we kind of changed we, it. We um, altered it and put some, <clears throat> excuse me, so it just has a bracket here in the back. And we, in the screws, we made some rods that come out. So you could just set it on and then you could just flip your stitching over. Yeah. Um, I used that one for a long time too. I still have it somewhere too. Um, we used that to hold the camera when we were filming for a little while. Yeah. But it, I like the Lowry stand so much more. I want a Lowry stand. But I I haven't used one and I'm scared to get it and not love it. You I need, need to, to try mine. Yours. Yeah, try it. But I also want to try it like at my house with my setup and see if it still works. I don't know. You'd um, be able to tell just by using mine. Okay. But anyway. Um, Vicky Hibb says, if you were to recommend one, only one chart, what would it be? That is a really good question. One chart. I'm trying to think what like my favorite thing is that I've stitched. That's what I was trying to think. Honestly, I've had the most fun lately stitching the Waxy Moon house trail. That's what I was just thinking too. Those have been the funnest for me to stitch. I've thoroughly, I've got three houses completed on two of the different series. And the, so I would say those. I mean, off the top of my head, I can't think of anything that I have. Or I could I've just loved a lot of them, but I mean. I could also just be silly and recommend um, Firework Lane. You can get it on Etsy at Little Stitch Girl. <laughs> not, or dot Etsy dot com. <laughs> just to be a dork. But um, yeah, I love stitching the Waxy Moon House Trios. They have, like, the colors she picked are great for all of them. Mm -hmm. Um, the variegation of the gentle art threads looks great and the trees and like it's all just and it's so quick it's just a fun stitch mm -hmm. I really enjoy and it. they come with three patterns so that's one chart but three patterns right um Linda Coles asked when I started designing cross stitch and would we ever commit to a broad big project like a haid I started designing cross stitch patterns in 2016 um, because there was one that I wanted to stitch that was like a pearl or bead pattern and I kind of converted it and then realized oh I could do this and um, my Etsy shop was already pretty much like crochet patterns and I was like that works that would fit right in it's just another fiber art and then um, I need to revamp my crochet patterns before I put them back up in the shop. And I've been meaning to do that for a long time. But then it just kind of took off from there. And I have committed to big projects. Like oh, Hayes. I was going to say, what was the other question? Um, I, I started a full piece, full coverage piece that was 22 pages. Um, it was a picture that Jordan helped me do it. Um, we used the website Pick to Pat. And I got, let's see, I did. Three pages in? Uh, four. I think I was starting on the fifth. And I I didn't, I give up. I wasn't in love. I And it was supposed to be a gift. <laughs> hmm. That's good because you didn't have someone relying on you finishing it. They didn't know. Well, they didn't know, yeah. But I... I didn't love it. I, I've given away um, the some of the other hay patterns I've bought. And then I have got some, but they were the minis. And I've kept those. The only other big one I have is Four, Se four Seasons. The hay. Oh, yeah. The house that rotates, you know, the four ways. Um, I do still have that one because I still think it's so pretty. I think it's it really just is. a pretty piece of artwork. Um and then I have a, a nine inch Santa snowman one that's just a circle. And so I will maybe eventually try it again. But I'm having fun with all the smalls right now. 
shapes and I have a ton of them to do so <laughs> and the smalls are really fun because like you stitch them and then they're done yeah um I am going to start uh, Northern Expression Needlework though I don't know which one shades of gold shade shades of plum or shades of green but none of them will be in those colors <laughs> But still, I love just the patterns. I have a few that I've committed to doing that are big. Um, most recently, I started the epic Pokemon cross stitch pattern that is 31 pages. Um, but I think it'll go differently than some of the others because it's like the sprite artwork of the characters. So it's like I finished one. And, like, I, I'm done with that Pokemon, and then it's, like, a different one. So, like, it's not going to be all the same, like, the confetti that was or is the princess one I'm doing. I also have the big Alice in Wonderland that Mom gave me for my birthday Brooks years books. ago. That's Brooks Books. And that one is 12 different charts, so that's a little different, and it's not full coverage, but it's still right. big. Um... I have a few really big ones that are all in big scroll frames, and I just kind of slowly pluck away at all of them. That works. Palette PC asked what our favorite beverage is while we're stitching. She likes tea or ginger ale. I drink water. I... Every once in a while I have crystal light. I really pretty much just drink water. I drink water. I have an ice water cup mug, um, Hydro Flask, that I use. But then I like my, <laughs> I like Diet Dr. Pepper. People probably scoff at me for liking soda and Diet Soda to boot. Um, Cause it's evil and going to kill me. I know, I hear it all from people, but I do like Diet Dr. Pepper. I've loved it for years. It's a thing. Um, and I do have, there's a um, lemon loaf um, tea that I thoroughly enjoy at night too, just. If I want a warm, it's not caffeinated or like a warm beverage. Okay, that's not a question. Sorry, I'm reading the comments as I go. Um, Sundrop Cat asked how far we live from each other. I think An it's hour like 15. 50 miles. Is that what it is? It's 100 from here to Alex's parents. We're like right in the middle. Salt Lake's like 980, 90 from here. And you're just this side of Salt Lake. I'd, I, I've done 50 miles. I'd say it's more like 70 miles. Well, uh, it's about an hour 15. An hour 15 minutes. <laughs> Unless I'm driving, then it's closer to an hour. <sighs> um, Nancy Fisher asked why we decided to start stitching. I like it. I just, I don't know where I learned when I was a little girl and I think I just um, liked watching my mom do it. I think it's cool watching how it develops and comes together. But I like having a hobby and craft, something I can do to relax and something that I can do like while my husband's watching sports or different things or I'm watching sports with him. <laughs> um, like while I'm watching TV or in between changing over the loads of laundry or whatever it is, I just like having to keep my hands busy and I started I mean because watching my mom and my grandma do it and then when I started back again it was kind of because mom started doing it again and so I was like oh I'll start doing that again and um, then it just became this whole thing that we we got into the it's like an obsession if you could see this whole corner of my living room over here there are a lot of people I know that cross stitch but then there's like the cross stitch community mm -hmm. and then it's like oh I'm part of something <laughs> and it just like I don't know I love I love 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 I have done my um, shelves for Valentine's Day and I've still left it all up because I figure it's just for February but to look up at my shelves and see I have five cross stitches up there that I've done and then other stuff that I've made as well and to look up and see stuff that I've made and have it displayed like it brings me happiness to just look up at my shelves and see my work. I guess I'm kind of vain that way but 
No, I like it. Why do you think I have them laid out? Yeah, she has them like sprawled across her couch. <laughs> have these finishes laid here because I wanted to see them and it, some of them is Halloween. I'm not gonna finish them right now, and but I wanted to look at them. But it's like I find it really relaxing to do to mm -hmm. sit and stitch. Like it's kind of my happy place. But then when it's done, it's, it's a functional. Too. I mean, semi-functional. It's just decor, but it like I enjoy it through all stages of it. Linda Craig asked. Oh, she said sorry about your finger, and then asked what the project oh. we have stitched that we're the most proud of. My shelves <laughs> that have five projects on them right now. That's probably what I'm most proud of right now. Most proud of? That's a good one. If I would ever finish my boy spare, that would be it. And I do have a lot done on it. And I pull it out and I look at it every once in a while. And I almost start from stitching. <laughs> I'm going to. I want you to. Um, Maybe you should do that for Mania. Once we get home. Um, I don't, I don't know that I can think of one that I'm most proud of. Well, my, my finishes I've had more of recently have all been the small, not, when I think some I'd be proud of, I'd almost think like some big display thing. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't have that. I think the one I'm generally with. most proud of is the most recent one that I've finished. That's true. Um, Kim Goldman asked... Since we both have several series in our stash, do we have a very favorite? Right now, the series that I'm dying to start stitching is the Prairie Schooler um, monthly chart. That's the one that I, I have got all the flosses and things for the July. That will be the next one, the one that I start. I think my series right now that I love the most is um, the Year of Celebration from Hands On Designs. They're so quick and easy and cute and yeah, I've just enjoyed them. The one I'm looking forward to the most right now is Preschooler, but I have a lot in there that I really like. Rupi R asked if we could have an auto shipment for one designer's charts, who would it be? <laughs> Here is a puppy. Yeah, there's a puppy. Um, I think mine would be hands-on design. I know that's I would say well you, okay so hands-on design, Kathy Haberman, or Little House. Yeah. Yeah. Over um, Elaine Gagney asked what my favorite game is to play. Um, I don't know. Whatever I'm playing at the moment. I like a lot of games. Board games, video games. Um, right now, our favorite board game that we've been playing is Suspicion. It's kind of like Clue. Don't, don't kick the camera. Sorry, Claude. Um, it's kind of like Clue. Um, my sister got it for us for Christmas. And then she also asked if you play too. Um, I play board games with whatever board games. I like a card game that's called Hand and Foot. It's, um, that's one that I've enjoyed. And then, um, video games. I, Mario. It's always been a Mario or a Tetris or Dr. Mario. Those kind of games are right now, definitely for me. The video game that I've been playing a lot is Super Mario Odyssey, which is the new Mario game. And Tetris 99, that's like a big Tetris game. But I don't have a Switch. It's so much fun. Okay. Um, Diana Lohman asked if we could have a guest YouTuber on our channel, who it would be and why. Oh, that's a good question. I hadn't read that one. Um, I think I would say um, Bendy Stitchy Michelle. She's hilarious. I think we would have a party. <laughs> she is, and I watch, I try and keep up on her videos every week, and I have fallen behind a lot. No, I, I try, I try and stay up on hers. She's fun. She just, she brings an excitement to cross-stitch. Yeah. I, I, she has a good energy about her. I love it. Um, Maine Moose Mom Stitcher, Michelle asked if we've always lived in Utah. 
Yes. I've actually only ever lived in Smithfield for my entire life. And I lived in Smithfield until I got married and then I moved 15 minutes south to Logan. And then when my husband graduated, we moved to Syracuse. Um, <laughs> what is our favorite part of the cross-stitching craft and who is your favorite designer? Ha would have to say hands-on design. Again, we both really thoroughly enjoyed Kathy's um, charts and her patterns and the, the including the chalk ones that Priscilla has drawn in collaboration. We've liked them all. Um, that was, what was the other part of the question? Um, who is your favorite designer? What's your favorite part of cross stitching? Oh, favorite part? You know, I don't know. I think I'm a process stitcher because I love the kitting. I love the starting, actual st stitching on it and seeing it grow and develop. And I love the finish. I love <coughs> that I can sit and make something and create something that's beautiful to look at and not be stressed the whole time doing it. I like that it is a very relaxing ho um, hobby. hobby. I almost said holiday. Um, sorry, I'm trying to find a question. Would like to know how many you have completed and to see how you finish them. That's for the waxing moon designs from Drew's. Well, question was from Drusilla Pendleberry asking um, how we're finishing the waxing moon. Um, we both have found a frame that we got at at home store and we'll be finishing it um, on this particular frame. I don't have, I well I have two Halloween from the Halloween House Trio and I have one from Spring completed. I'm working on the others um, and as soon as I can get it finished so that I can put it on the frame, I'll, I'll show it to you. It, it, it'll be so that it is interchangeable though. Yeah, and so. I have the same frame. Mine's buggered up so I think I need to paint, paint it again. Mm -hmm. um, but I think we'll just... At least I'm going to find a cute fabric for each one to back yeah, all three and, and then make them. And it's just like a little clip frame. So it yeah. just will clip on. Um, let's see. Jamie, where do you work and what is your job? It sounds fascinating. Um, I work at Campbell Scientific. It's here in Logan, in, um, Utah. And my job is I am an assembler. Um... And I assemble gas analyzers and um, my previous job or previous department, I worked in the cables department and I connected cables onto different sensors and things. Um, he can see himself in the yeah. camera. <laughs> um, and it is fascinating. I learn something new every day and <laughs> I like it. It's what. <laughs> <laughs> If you could take a trip to anywhere in the world, all expenses paid, where would you choose to visit? I would backpack across Europe, but if I had to pick a specific country, it would be either Italy or Greece. I, I was going to say Greece. Um, I would like to learn... Well, I, I would say, yeah, Greece. Uh, also Australia, New Zealand. I couldn't go to Australia. Scotland. I would love to go to Scotland and tour all the castles and yeah, that, that, but Greece and the blue, blue ocean is the first thing. That Although right now I would go to the Bahamas because I'm tired of the cold. Um, Amy loves to, oh, she didn't have a question. Shelly Crouch, what is your favorite snack to eat when stitching? I don't really snack while I stitch, mostly because I'm paranoid. Are you getting down? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you want to, he wants to show a toy in the picture. What is it? It's a ball. It's 
Oh, right. oh, oh. <laughs> he has a good arm. Um, Do you want to go upstairs with Daddy? No. Oh. Go take the plane and go tickle Daddy. Sorry, tickle not Daddy the camera. Feet. Sorry. Um, um, I don't really stack because I'm paranoid of staining my stuff, especially since I've since I've started using not color fast thread. I. Um, I snack. You're gonna judge me? No. <laughs> I feel like you're um, gonna there judge have me. been times where I've really wanted to snack, and we had like a bag of Doritos, and I got a pair of tweezers, and I oh. would pull them out of the bowl, and use the tweezers to eat them no, so my fingers didn't but, get dirty. No, but like for Christmas, I had this bag of Starburst that was just the pink ones, and so I I had Starburst, um, or like if your dad has gone to the store or something. And He'll bring me back a box of milk duds. And so I'll eat a milk dud while I stitch. Um, right the, now. The only thing is, is I'm a lid, um, thread licker. Like I lick my thread to, um, thread my needle. And so you can't have a chocolate mouth. That's why I keep my water right next to me. Yeah. And so I, I am conscious. I do and every once in a while something. Right now I have a few, like a bag of Cadbury eggs that I'll snack on, but... I, like, it's just occasionally that I... I don't have it all the time I sit down to stitch, but yeah. I'm just... But I have... But those are two favorite treats. Pink Heather, Heather Anderson asked if we know That's of any... That's Kauai girl? Yep. Asked if we know of any other stitching groups in Cache Valley besides Embroidery Central's Wednesday night stitches. She can't usually make it to those. I don't know of one, but I would like there to be one. Because I, would come up for that. I can't do the Wednesday night thing either. Maybe we should start one. And the Utah stitching get togethers, um, sometimes they're too far away to make it. So, yeah, maybe we should make one. Um, Hoodlums X4 at Hoodlums Times 4, probably. Yeah. Asked what our favorite piece to stitch has been or one that was enjoyable for us to stitch on she enjoyed the basic autumn style and then asked for links to where we purchased our magnets i'll put the link to the amazon place that i got my magnets in the description oh. it was just on amazon i searched rare earth magnets or neodymium magnets or whatever i have enjoyed the cricut collection seasons um those were fun but i like stitching houses and I've heard a lot of people say enough. that, but like, so this is, so, but these series, the waxing moon, I have thoroughly enjoyed these. I cannot even tell you how much, like, I look forward to stitching them. So I just realized what stitch that I'm most proud of, because wasn't that something we were asked earlier? Yeah. There have been a lot of questions. Um, my fire of work lane, I, when I finally finished that. To look at it, I had it up on my shelf for all of January, and to look at it still, because I put it in a box, but it's a clear box, I still just look at it and smile. I'm so proud of it and love how it turned out. It is everything I wanted it to be and more. It is. And so, so I'll cute. just and claim that's that on my to stitch to this list. Too. But um, Carly, I stitch what I want. Asked, are you going to put something else on the fabric that Needle Workshop is on? Yes, I. The fabric, originally when I started those, I was doing it, I thought I needed extra fabric and I don't need that much fabric. Um, so then I started cutting them in half. Well, when I went to start that one, I didn't have a Q-snap to hold just a small one. And I didn't, it, that Q-snap that I had available fit that piece of fabric. So I just started it, but I did it on the lower half and then I'll flip it over and do one on the other half. Or cut it up by that's then. That's what I have going on right now with what one am I stitching the bookstore. I'm doing it on one side and then when I'm done with that I'll just flip it over and do the other side. Yeah and it's and I'll do one of the other um, hometown holidays on there whichever one I decide to do next. Jana and Godfrey asked who your favorite sister is. Um, I'm gonna say Abby. She's my only sister and I have to say her. Well, my friend Shasti <laughs> says she's my sister from another mister, so <laughs> should I say Shasti or should I say Weeza? Which is Jadlyn Godfrey. Yeah. <laughs> That's the joke there. <laughs> hmm. 
Are we using all the called for threads on March wordplay? No. no. I picked from my stash and you picked from your stash. Mm -hmm. And we're both doing them very differently from each other. And I'm excited to see what yours turns out like and how they are different. <laughs> um, but yeah, we just, for all of those, I've been pulling from my stash. Yep. For those, I've been for trying to make them a little more bright or. For year in chalk, I've just been pulling from my stash. Mm -hmm. Um, Linda West asked what part of Utah we're from. She lives in Ogden. Cash Valley. Well, she lives in Syracuse. I'm from Cash Valley. But, but um, yeah, I yeah live in Syracuse I'm from now. Cash Valley or Smithville. <laughs> Teresa Morgan, were you close, young, close younger than you are now? Who started stitching first? I started stitching first just because I'm older, if we're you think of it that way. Yeah. We're pretty close in age <laughs> compared to most mother-daughter duos, but we've, we've been, I, I was not a good teenager. <laughs> and so, but even through your teenage years, like how many places did you and Caitlin go and I went so many right along with, because I, I drove them and I let them go and I was... Chaperoning. Maybe I should say Caitlin's my favorite sister. <laughs> She's pretty much my sister. She's the other. <laughs> um, but like, as I I I was a rebellious teenager, but also we did a lot of things as a family, and we have a weirdly close family compared to most people. I wouldn't say weirdly but close. Like, we with our cousins and everything too. Oh, well, yeah. Like most people don't have the crazy bond that our family does, but I don't know, we get together and do stuff as a family, like a big family, a lot. We like um, to hang out, we like to get together. And so like growing up, my cousins were, I mean, my cousin that's the same age as me, we were pretty much siblings because we were together all day every day, but for us, like, we've done a lot of stuff together, like as we've been growing up and we've been close, but also I was a rebellious teenager, and so there are a few hard years there, <laughs> hard moments throughout the years. I got better. You did. <laughs> I had kids and I had to grow up. Um, since it's February, the month of love, where and how did you meet your spouses? <laughs> My, your story's funny. <laughs> mine's very kind of redneck sounding. We met at the demolition derby, <laughs> where they, you know, where, where, I guess that's what they call them everywhere, you know, where they crash the cars and whatever. Um, <laughs> Sorry, dog's dog. itching his collar. Um, yeah, and it's because m my friend and his friend were dating, and so I went with her, and he went with his friend. And then we, they were meeting up there. We knew they was meeting up. And I had another friend that come with us and stuff. But it was a group of people. Um, and so that's where we met. And then after that, because we went there. And then the Jazz were in the playoffs. And so all the, the friends, you know, were would get together to watch the playoff game. And so I would go and he would be there, you know, because our friends were dating. So you kind of go and you meet up and stuff. And... It just kind of went from there. Um, for the two least sporty people in the world, my husband and I met at a Super Bowl party. Um, and I actually didn't remember that he was there until after we were dating. Um, but we, we met there, and then my best friend and... His roommate lived, well, he and his roommate all lived in the same apartment complex. And then there were five of us that just started hanging out all the time. And then after a little while, me and Alex just kind of split off. And then his roommate, Jared, and my best friend, Stacy, split off and got married. And then um, the other guy that hung out with us, Jordan, met Caitlin, and they got married. And... Then they lived in the same apartment complex as us until we moved to Syracuse. And now we live right next to Stacy and Jared and like 
our friends all stayed friends and we got married. Um, do you have a cross stitch budget for the month? And if so, would you mind sharing how much? Okay. Now I, when I read this question, I laughed, I laughed out <laughs> loud. I should. I tried I to do stitch from stash. I failed miserably. And I think putting myself on a budget almost made me break it more. I don't know. I, I'm weird with things like that. Like, don't give me boundaries. I don't like them. Um, <laughs> but I try to stay within reason. I will put things in a cart um, or on a wish list. And then when I'm getting something else, like if I need some fabric or some flosses or something that I'm going to order, then I'll, uh, I'll look through my wish list to see what else is in there because, you know, one piece of fabric can't travel alone. It, you know, if I'm going to pay shipping, I want to make that shipping worth it. So I'll throw in a pattern or two. Um, so I don't, or if I find like my unicorn pattern or something, like if I find, or the good buy on eBay for those roller frames or something, you know, I'm constantly, I look for things and I put things in carts, but I try to ration out a little bit and not order, but I don't have like a budget. I just don't want to order $300 worth of stuff a month. Yeah. And I probably could. It's even with all the stuff I have. It's stupid. <laughs> I don't have a budget. Like, I don't have a set number. But there's a point where, like, I have spent a certain amount and I'm like, okay, that's enough this month. Yeah. Like, well, it, cause I, I got the Joanne's floss and then I ordered fabric and I've gotten some patterns and it's like, okay, I have enough this month. I can step back and I don't need to anymore. Like, I'm set for a little while. Uh, well, because I, I don't have a number. I get the. Victoria Moto thing once a month, the floss kit club. And then if a new pattern happens to come out or I find a pattern that I've wanted, you know, for a while or something, I, whatever, I find it somewhere, then I'll get that. Um, I might get the, fa you know, fabric and flosses are just necessities to do those patterns. You know, and you need fabric to be able to stitch and so I'll kit stuff up like that. But I don't, I don't know. I, I would say maybe I spend $60 a month for most months. And that's including the Victoria Moto, which is like half that budget. Yeah. We only have two questions left. Um, Angie Pangy asked if we snack while stitching or if we're more disciplined than her. I, nope. st I snack occasionally. I, I usually try to drink a lot of water, so I don't snack. I have my big ice water, my Yeti mug thing, and my knockoff, whatever, um, that I'll have the ice water or the soda in. Usually ice water, because I'll stitch at night and I can't have caffeine at night. I'm weird. And then, on an occasion, a snack, but not always. And then Samiella29 asked, how long we've been stitching and our first series that we've completed? I have not yet completed a series that I can think of. This year, I will have my year, year in chalk completed, which I know is a little series. They're just little, but I've got most of them done. I have a few more to do, but I will have those done this year. If I stick to my one a month, I will have wordplay, year of celebrations, year in chalk, and the Lizzie Kate year with charm all done. But... I don't know if I'm going to do that, especially come summer when it gets crazy. Um, and then we've been stitching. Let's see. I've been stitching 13 years, but off and on. Um, if I went back to 10, hmm. <laughs> I've been stitching for a long time, off and on. <laughs> no. I'm only 25. I'm not super worried about sharing my age yet. <laughs> I'm not that old, but... For some reason, it sounds weird to say your age. Like, I feel like I've finally, I've got to that point that it's weird to say, that, to say how uh, I'm 42. Really yeah. quick, funny story. Tomorrow's my husband's birthday. He'll be 29. And I, she's, like, been freaking out that her son-in-law is 29. And Alex is like, why? And I'm like, well, because 29 is the age that most women stay for, like, a decade. And he was like... Well, I'm not the same age as your mom, and I'm like, no, but in, like, 
that theoretical way that people say their age, you could be. And I didn't ever really do the, I'm 29 for multiple years, but I still, yeah. It's just weird. My son-in-law and myself are kind of, we're what, 13 years apart? Yeah. Whatever, it's a thing. <laughs> she just realized when his birthday was, but... Okay, that's all of our questions. Sorry oh. that the video ended up being so long, but there was just yeah, lots of questions. That's why we thought we'd answer them separate than a regular video, um, because it would make a regular video. And then sharing, oh, there's the blocks. Sharing all of our um, stitching besides wait a really long video. Yep. So we'll have yeah. another video up this weekend. Okay. Okay. Thanks for watching and joining, and we're more than happy to answer any other questions you can come up with. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye.